National Park. Woohoo! Woo! We made it. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be exploring around the park for the next like three and a half to four days. We have three nights booked here, so let's get on in and see what we can see. Just a real quick view here, what it looks like outside the uh, the main entrance to the park. This is uh, the entrance off of uh, Highway 385. We just came from Marathon. Uh, we're gonna be staring right into that sun there, sorry. But it is beautiful out here. It's a chilly, windy day, but it's toasty in the van. Here we go. Okay, so we just went through the entrance. Yeah. Talked to the really nice ranger there, which we should have recorded. I know, we didn't. No, he didn't. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna, he gave us some paperwork and some maps and things, and we're just gonna drive down and take our time and enjoy the scenery as we go uh, head towards our first campground. We were gonna stop at this visitor center. We assumed it opened at nine, but it doesn't open until 10. Okay. So we got a half an hour. <laughs> from up here. Sun, and there's the moon. Let's see, sun. That's right there. And the moon. center here. Our campground for the night is off to the left, so we'll be headed down that way when we leave. The chiseled peaks of the Chisos Mountains form silhouettes against the sky. Already. 
There's <laughs> an area where this is dugout wells, and I'm curious. Well, this is apparently all that the dugout wells area is. Uh, it is a well. It's got water coming out of it. When the windmill turns, it pumps water out. Dugout Wells has been the site of a windmill for over 100 years. Today, this windmill is maintained by the National Park Service to support this historic oasis and provide water for thirsty plants and desert wildlife. Uh, well depth is 16 feet, water depth is nine, pump rate 10 to 20 gallons a minute at full speed. More dirt roads. This is a road to the hot springs. Uh, it's before our campground, so we thought let's check it out, see if it's worthwhile maybe to come back here later on this afternoon or this evening. Ooh, this is narrow. Yes, it is very narrow. Ooh, I see why they, <laughs> they said no. Uh, Don't get any close. Yeah. What? No. Uh, Dual wheel vehicles, no oversized vehicles, no campers, no RVs. Holy cow. Maybe pull your mirror in <laughs> at some point. made it. We made it to the hot springs here in Big Bend National Park. It's about a quarter mile walk down a trail that way. We're Let's gonna go check it out. According to according to a couple that just came up a minute ago. <laughs> little flies. We're gonna go check it out. Let's go check it out. We'll be back Bailey. It's like 65 degrees in the van. So it's okay to leave her in there. We've got a fan running and vents open and things. So she's okay. Cool. Yeah. Hot Springs Historic District. Homesteader J.O. Langford built the structures ahead. He arrived from Mississippi in 1909 stricken with recurring malaria, spending his last pennies seeking health and fortune. Uh, he developed this area into a rustic riverside resort so others could experience the waters that he claimed healed him. This old structures left from the uh, Langford, uh, I guess you could call it resort, uh, with better transportation and extensive advertising, health seekers and vacationers sought out this remote riverside retreat. The river is right there. Uh, Langford's resort flourished from the 1920s to the 1940s. Rooms were a dollar per day or six dollars per week. Hot springs baths were 25 cents each. As tourism increased, the motor court offered an alternative to camping. Rooms were rustic with no running water. Now look inside the windows and picture yourself staying here a century ago. Oh wow, that's it, that's the room. That's all you get. I can't zoom in, uh, Let's go, let's try there. And it won't focus. 
Wow. That's it. Wow, look at that rock cliff. This is neat. I see Mexico. So is this, yeah, this has to be the Rio Grande. Yeah. Wow. We'll fall in. side. We're on the breezy side of the hill. Oh wow. Apparently we're here. There's people right down there on the on the river's edge. Heated by geothermal processes and emerging at 105 degrees. Woo! The water in the hot springs carries dissolved mineral salts, reputed to have rejuvenating powers. Ooh, see if Chris gets in. Yeah, I don't like 105. 102 is about my hot tub temp. Anyway, let's go check it out. There's a bunch of people down here. Like, it's like this thick and it's kind of spongy. Or like foamy and it just sticks. Uh, we put that all over. And I mean, I'm pretty sure that like... We are in the hot springs. This is, only about this is fantastic. <laughs> There's only one other couple here with us. This is two, good. Two van life couples two are, van life couples are leaving on their way as we out. walk in. Yeah. And it's just us here. Hang on, I'll show you what we got. Oh. All right, one of our hot tub mates is going to go touch Hi. Mexico. <laughs> so there's the hot springs. Seen, uh, border patrol on these roads. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah. Here's the Rio Grande. All right, so this is the hot springs here. Trails right up there. And uh, it's the Rio Grande, and there's the there's Mexico. Okay. Ooh, hopefully, oh, that's a strong current. That's a strong current. No, <laughs> no, no. There we go. He touched Mexico. <laughs> Couple we met today at Clamping. Yeah. Trilingua. Well, Trilingua was cool. I, did, I was there. Trilingua over the last, let's say, five to ten years yeah. has probably added a half a dozen different types of blind spots. And we never did that. Oh. But in 2020, we and since then, we've been back to that place a couple of times. Oh, yeah, that's cool. What do you think? Oh, yeah, that's cool. You going to swim to Mexico? No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. It feels good, though. Oh, that feels good. Have you eaten at the Starlight uh, Theater? In no, I haven't. Oh. The food's the best. The I, best in the area. I heard. I heard this is the food's the best so in the area. Oh, that feels really good. It's like the only place that's good. Cool. All right, here she goes. Yeah. Just like that, back in the hot springs. I'm surprised. All right, we're walking back from the uh, hot spring soak. This is a beautiful section of the river here. It's a real easy walk. It is truly about a quarter mile uh, down, and then the hot springs is just right down that little that little side trail. This is uh glad we stopped. So on the way down to the hot springs, we noticed these uh, little stairways. That one doesn't lead up to anything but the, the dead tree, but I don't know, I don't know, what, I don't know what this one does. Like a little I don't know. I mean, like there's a little trail up here. It kind of goes off that way, but it's all trees are down, all overgrown. Uh, there is like a foundation area here. There was something at some point. Don't know. Back when this was a uh, a healing resort. Oh, got palm trees in the desert right there. River right down there. All right, just about back to the van. Back at the van. This is a popular little place. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's go check on the dog. 
Hi, dog. Hi, I see a snout. What's cooler there? Yeah. Good. Woo! Yeah, all the sensors are <laughs> all the sensors are going off. Okay, watch your mirror over here. Yep. I'm trying. I can bring it in if need be. I'm trying. I'm, I'm also watching the, the drop off over here. Okay. fun good conversation with people in there yeah was... we met two other van lifers yeah uh one one other couple they're going to be staying at the same campground we're staying at tonight uh, the other couple i don't know where they're staying they were like oh we're down the they're tin camping they're like they're... no the other van life couple oh i don't, I don't know. know where they're where they're staying i don't know but and it got busy there's, there's... yeah it's all of a sudden really busy yeah, it's... it's like soak ha hour yeah i have happy hour at the hot, at the hot tub Okay. Okay. <laughs> really narrow. Suck it in. We're close to the edge. This is cool that they've got it. The one-way loop here. This is really yeah, cool. Yeah, that's nice. One-way loop. Yeah. Otherwise, that would. Well, that. <laughs> it'd have to be. I did not know we had a tunnel. It doesn't even tell you how high the tunnel is. No. Apparently high enough. Day one in Big Bend National Park. Success. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we saw some beautiful things on our drive down to our campground or our campsite today, which we are currently at. So this is the Rio Grande Village campground. We're in site number five on loop. I think it's one or two, it might be two. Uh, anyway, it's a pretty full campground. There's uh, two camp hosts, one off duty, one on duty. Uh, highlight of our day was the hot spring. Yeah, definitely. That was fun. That was really, really cool. We, we had got in there just in time. Great, great time. Yeah, it really filled up uh, as we're driving out. So we're happy we got in there with minimal, minimal bodies. Yep, yep. yep. And I, uh, I got in the river. You did. Sherry wanted me to swim to Mexico. <laughs> so I don't think so. <laughs> All right, we're gonna tuck in for the night. We're gonna feed Bailey. We're gonna feed ourselves. Get some things done and get out of these bugs. There's gnats, little gnats everywhere. all around. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. One thing that's interesting uh, is every campsite has their own bear box. Uh, bear and javelina, I guess, are pretty prevalent around here, so you don't want to leave any food out. So I think that's pretty interesting. Just got ready to go out for a walk with Bailey around the campground, and there's javelinas right there. There's three. I think there's a couple more over that way. Holy cow. Yeah, there's more than more than a few. There's like eight of them. There's like three there. There's a whole bunch. Off in the back there. Wow. The javelinas? Cool.